What's up guys, Dr. Ryan here with another episode of Smashing Wealth. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the recent downtrend in Zometica stock price and why this is such a great thing for investors. I'm gonna discuss if we should be piling cash into ZOM stock or if we should be waiting for the next opportunity to smash that sell button. We're going to discuss the overwhelming market over enthusiasm of Zometica and if it's worth real consideration on this ZOM stock forecast. We will also take a deep dive into the recent ZOM stock news about Zometica stock and its reliance on its core product, True Forma. We're going to discuss what impact the success or lack thereof of True Forma will have on a future ZOM stock predictions. I will even be sharing my thoughts on how likely True Forma is to becoming a great medical product. With this information, you will be in a better position to determine if you should add to your position, take profits, or wait for a better buying opportunity. This way, you will be able to maximize your overall profits and absolutely smash it in the market. As always, this video is not financial advice and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Full disclaimer in the description below. Just a heads up, I timestamped each part of this video so you can go ahead and jump to any part of the video that you like down in the description below. So let's get into it. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into this price chart. So if you look at the price chart, we're looking at a month view here and you look at January 26th, we were at 98 cents. And if you look at the 98 cents, we were that pre $1 mark and then we started rising and we hit that dollar mark and towards February and started climbing. You see here on February 8th, it hit $2.70. We actually got up to $2.91 and then it started really trending downwards and people started taking profits. We started seeing the price come down. The offering was made and you know these shares just kept coming down and today we ended at two dollars and ten cents now if we go ahead and we flip into the five day view to see what happened this week you'll see here that we started the week at two dollars and fifty four cents and we trended all the way down to two dollars and ten cents so that means we went down 17 percent for the last five days which equates to 44 cents in actual change now, if we go ahead and we flip into the day view, you see we started at $2.25 today and we ended the day at $2 and about 10 cents. So this represented a change of 7.89% or in terms of money, 18 cents change. So we'll see that over the day and over the last five days with the day being a difference in 18 cents, a 7%, 7.89% change. And then we look at the five day, we went down 17.32%. But then over the month view, obviously it was a huge increase. So we seem to have this little temporary downtrend in the last few days, but overall over the last month, it's been a dramatic uptrend. Now to get an idea of where we're going in the future, you need to take a look at the past. Now I wanna dive into this article, which will really give you a true perspective on what happened with Zomatic in the past so you can have an understanding of what may happen in the future. So if he says, if you invested $10,000 in Zometica a year ago, this is how much you would have today. About a year ago, Zometica's financial situation was a bit grim. The shares were trading at less than $1 a piece and they faced a possible delisting from the New York Stock Exchange. The veterinarian's diagnostic company also posted years of deepening losses and declining cash levels. Now this is great because what a lot of people don't realize is there's tremendous opportunity to being listed on the New York Stock Exchange. When you're listed on New York Stock Exchange, there's a lot more volume because there's a lot more brokerages that have access and a lot more people that have access to buying shares of your particular stock. So if they actually faced the delisting, this would have been absolutely terrible. But obviously things are looking up for Zometica right now, so we don't have to worry about that. But it says, but some investors hung on or bought shares. Why? Because Zometica was arriving at a critical, crucial moment. It had reached the final stages of the development for its true form of diagnostic platform. Now the company plans on launching the system in about a month. In that one year period, Zometica stock has more than recovered, surging more than 1800%. So if you were an early believer, you've seen your investment soar. Let's do some math and find out exactly how much. 
Now, a lot of companies, uh, st especially startup companies, it takes them time to develop and reach that period of time where that growth just explodes. And I think that's what we're seeing here with Zometica. They've worked for years and years getting this platform together, planning the steps, putting into place what they need to do to be successful, and now they're ready to implement. And a lot of investors had that foresight to see where the company may be in the future and invest ahead of time and buy into shares at pennies on the dollar. And now they're reaping the rewards of that. Trading at 13 cents. A year ago, Zometica's shares were trading at 13 cents. So with $10,000, you could have purchased 76,000 plus shares. Today, that investment would be worth more than $176,000. That's a win for investors who took a big risk at such a difficult time for Zometica. Obviously, when you risk money, when you have more risk involved in an investment, your returns tend to be higher. If you have that foresight to invest in a company before they blow up, then you're going to make a lot of money. But at the same time, there's all these companies when they're in their startup phases, in those early phases, you have absolutely no idea if they're going to make it or not. And a lot of times these companies can turn into failure. So obviously, in the case of Zometica, these investors who invested early on obviously hit the jackpot at this time. The shares didn't rise without a reason, though. Zometica's situation has progressed and product launch is right around the corner. First, from a stock market listing point of view, Zometica recently announced something very positive. The New York Stock Exchange America LLC told Zometica that it's no longer in danger of being delisted. The exchange can remove a stock if it closes for less than a dollar for more than a consecutive 30 days. This is no longer the case for Zometica. Next, Zometica's cash levels have improved. The company has reported cash levels of 52 million as of September, up from 510,000 as of December 31st, 2019. So if a company gets delisted from the New York Stock Exchange, I mean, this at a tremendous blow. A lot of times the share price will just plummet. And this is because a lot of funds that may have been involved and had Zometica or, you know, whatever share that was in that particular fund may, when it gets delisted, it gets pulled out of that fund. The volume goes down dramatically. A lot of brokerages will stop selling that stock and its volume will go down tremendously. When volume goes down, the price tends to go down with it. Now, if the company is talking about the cash level of 52 million in September, 510,000 in December 31st. What I can tell you is that more recently it's had a lot of uh, offerings and the, the amount of money they have on the books, the amount of money they have in cash deposits in the bank has risen dramatically. And it's risen dramatically because they're getting ready for the true form of launch. And they want to make sure they have the capital and resources to make sure that it's an absolute success. Now, this is something you got to pay attention to the first commercialized product. There's a good reason for this fundraising. Zometica will use the cash to help launch Trueforma, and it's big news here. This represents Zometica's first commercialized product and a pathway to revenue and eventual profitability. See, a lot of times people don't understand that it takes a very successful product to bring in that revenue, to bring in that income. And Zometica's been working for years on this, and they finally have that commercialized product, Trueforma, that's gonna come into the market. And now they can actually bring in revenue to the company. Now it says Trueforma is a toaster sized device that runs assays to detect thyroid and adrenal disease in dogs and cats. So Medica plans to sell the platform and assays to veterinarians for in office use. The company will release Trueforma along with three assays in a limited geographic area as of March 30th. The goal is to then to add two assays and expand the geographic area later in the year. Now, this is great here. See, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna look at the true form of product and understand if this is a product that people are actually gonna use, the veterinarians are actually gonna use, and offices are gonna use. Now, it says that it's a toaster-sized device, so this is important. This means that more offices can have it because they're able to store it. And this is very important, especially in geographic areas where space is a very limiting factor and oftentimes space is a limiting factor so the fact that they were able to miniaturize it and make it this small means that more companies can take advantage of this 
And it says here to detect thyroid and adrenal disease in dogs and cats. This is big because we know the market's big. Dogs and cats are one of, you know, obviously two of the animals that most people have in their homes. If you look at pet ownership across the United States, dog and cat ownerships is a no brainer. And it's targeting thyroid and adrenal disease. Now it says, uh, they plan on selling the platform in a limited geographic area. Now, this is also important because I see a lot of times companies, they stretch further than they can actually reach. Now, what I mean by this is a lot of times companies try to grow so fast and they can't keep up with that growth. And a lot of times trying to keep up, they can't service what they need to effectively because they're so spread out. Now, Zometica, they're doing this in a really great fashion because they're sticking to a specific geographic area. They're focusing in making sure that it works, making sure everything goes smoothly and the launch goes well, and then they're looking to expand outward. And this is a great approach that they're going about doing business. Zometica so has to provide precise results at the point of care in less than 20 minutes. Now, this is critical because time is everything. You know, you hear the saying, time is money. Now, people who bring in their pets, they want to know what's going on with their pet right away. They want to understand what the situation is. So Medica's tests provide precise results at the point of care in less than 20 minutes. Now, this is extremely important because when pet owners come in, they want to know what's going on with their pet right away. A lot of times people come in, they're stressed out. If their their pet is sick, their cat is sick, their dog is sick, they are stressed. They want to know how to help their pet immediately. And when you are able to take in that pet, that cat or that dog, and be able to tell within 20 minutes what's going on, what the situation is, and then be able to develop a game plan for the future, that is important. And that is what brings value into the into the marketplace. Speed is everything. Speed efficiency and accuracy and what we have here 20 minutes i mean this this is looking really good now it says but demand for such tests make me optimistic about zometica's chances the companion animal diagnostics market worth 1.8 billion last year will reach 3 billion by 2025 now this is important because an expanding market so not only are we going into a great market but we're going to a market that ex is rapidly expanding and with you know what happened last year and i'm not going to say the word of what happened last year more people than ever before adopted pets so we're going to see this number increase dramatically i think even past this 3 billion by 2025 the big one just ahead is this. Will veterinarians choose Trueforma or continue to use current systems? Any disappointment in Trueforma sales could seriously hurt Zometica's stock price. This is Zometica's only potential product, at least for now, and more assays to run on the system are in development. Everything is riding on veterinarians' acceptance of this product. This is correct. I mean, if I think if Trueforma doesn't meet expectations, and it doesn't meet what people think it's going to do, there is going to be a rapid fall in this share price of Zometica stock. And everything is really riding on this Zometica launch. Now, they do say they have other products in, in, in that they're coming soon and that are on the way, but everyone have really has their eyes set on this true formal launch, and they're going to base the success or lack thereof based on this launch. And I think if this launch doesn't go well, we're going to see a rapid fall in the stock price. Now, I'm I'm pretty confident that true Forma will do what they say it's going to do, so I'm not really too worried about that. But if true Forma wins over veterinarians, Zometica's growth story is just the beginning. We could expect some revenue this year and more growth once the company expands rollouts and adds assays. In that case, I would expect more share increases down the road. That would mean investors who believe in Zometica at the start would have more to gain well into the future. Absolutely right. If true Forma goes well, this is going to set the stage to be releasing more products in the future. And once you already have your foot in the door, it's easy to release another product that diagnoses that and diagnoses this and this kind of imaging test and be able to pile that on. Because once you have one product that works, one product that's trusted, one product that is relied on for a service or to produce diagnostic tests in this, in this example, now, when you release another product, those providers, those veterinarians are more willing to try the service 
in the future. Try that new diagnostic product or get it into their office. So this, this is great. What's Somedica developing? In its January 18th shareholder letter, Chief Executive Officer Robert Cohen discussed the year ahead for Zometica. The CEO reminded investors that its cash positions were strong, with more than $90 million on its balance sheets after accounting for capital expenditures in the fourth quarter. More importantly, Cohen said that Zometica had enough cash to fund its operations through calendar year 2023. It's almost three years away. That doesn't include the $200 million from the bought deal mentioned earlier. As it pertains to Trueforma, Cohen says the company is on track to meet its March 30th launch date. Now, this is important because the company has enough money to last until calendar year 2023. A lot of companies don't have enough money to last six months, eight months. We're talking about a penny stock here that has enough money to go the next two years. And that's not even taking into account the recent $200 million that they just raised. So this this is this is ridiculously good. Now that we know that Zemetica is going to be around for the next two years, that one of the biggest things you can do to help me stick around with this channel for another two years is smashing that like button for Smashing Wealth. I will be releasing future videos, which will be a full breakdown of Zometica news. I'll keep you up to date on what's going on with Zometica. That way you'll be able to rapidly react to trends in the market that could impact your overall investment. If you want access to that, make sure to smash that subscribe button and more importantly, turn on that notification bell to be alerted when I drop those videos. While you wait for that video, make sure to check out this video that I just released where I did a deep dive into the major facts that you probably didn't know about Zometica. You can also join my mailing list by going to smashingwealth.com, link in the description. If you bought ZOM stock, let me know down below in the description section. Until next time, have a smashing day.